because you are putting your stories now on paper, persons in future generations can look back and say, oh, this is why he did that. And this is what was happening in the, in the day. Oh, so maybe this is why my parents were doing things like that. So telling our stories are important. And the National Cultural Foundation has aided in persons like yourself to tell their stories um, through the grant funding of the Cultural Industries Development Fund. And we don't only uh, assist cultural practitioners in publishing books, although we do have quite a few who are publishing books. As you go along, uh, you need to archive and ensure that there's a legacy of truth so that people would understand who an individual is and what that individual represents. A lot of that is here in this book. Um, I thought about having lessons to be learned from the educational point of view. At the end of each chapter, I have highlighted things out of the chapter that people need to look out for. That's why it's so important for young people to have a look at this book. All over the place is not just a physical location. St. Lucy, I see here at this fair, I see plain top man there, la, la, la. It also represents the different spheres of activity that I would have been involved in from trade unionism. Uh, I want to salute Mr. Frost here. He wrote the foreword, and he tell me he ain't coming up to say nothing, because if you want to hear what he's saying, it's in the foreword. Get the book and read it. And I decided to take a little bit of that and inscribe it on the back of the book so you can see that gives you a, a wonderful idea of what's happening in the book. 